Hey guys, so following the positive feedback from the last video, I wanted to make another one, quick one, uh, showcasing, I'm going to focus on universal mechanics that aren't shown or aren't taught in the game's tutorial or challenge mode. And I was watching this clip by Arterius, uh, he was playing out with his Axel, uh, and he's, you guys know him, he's playing at, an, uh, at a high level, and he was facing the Zato player who did uh, this exact technique that we're going to uh, look at today. Um, it's not so much an advanced technique as an execution-wise, but it is something that's uh, taking advantage of two core principles in the mechanics of the game that are taught, but there are taught in two ways in the challenge mode. Uh, the first way it's taught, it's through the uh, Roman cancel system, uh, more, more precisely the uh, Roman cancel canceling system, which is a uh, fucking mouthful and redundant, so uh, community coined the term fast Roman cancel, which is uh, far better. Uh, basically, the um, other principle is momentum. So you, you guys know that uh, when you're running, your character is going to carry over some of that momentum uh, on the next attack. Well, if you combine both of these actions, if you combine a, a fast roam and cancel with a move that's uh, going to carry over momentum, it's going to carry uh, that momentum for all the successive actions after that point. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain in words, so I'm just going to show you an example, and you can see the uh, difference uh, right away. So I'm just going to do a... A simple conversion, I'm just going to do a jump dash into heavy slash into vapor trust. So you see the distance I gain, I'm almost full screen. I've got about a quarter screen distance from me and Axel, I can't hit him anymore. So my pressure isn't really real. Now if I did the same setup, but I use a blue Roman cancel after the dash, something like this here. And then I fast cancel it with uh, the heavy slash. Uh, and now I'm going to flood it, of course. So basically, uh, just a quick side note on a fast Roman Cancel, you need to input the action uh, before the explosion from the Roman Cancel comes out. It's a bit of a hard timing to do on uh, just uh, right off the bat like that, but you can practice it. Uh, there's uh, lessons in the tutorial or the challenge mode, I'm not sure exactly. That's going to help you out with that. But uh, the actions after the fast Roman Cancel are going to carry over the momentum from the dash. Which means if I can land it... Wow, that was great. See the distance I've gained now? I'm full screen. Of course, it's not something optimal or uh, great, but in the case of Arturia's clip, the Zato player tried to do uh, this action with Zato's jump dot to gain distance on Axel, which uh, is a pretty bad matchup. Not sure I'm not an Axel player. Uh, there are other situations. If you watch any of uh, Kizzy's clips, he's done a combo uh, trial that's done by another player. I think it's something like this here. Yes. Something like that, yeah. So that's going to carry over the momentum from a flip kick into a purple RC that you then cancel into a rapid action, and you carry the momentum from the flip. Uh, that's why you can do uh, this type of combo here. You know, something like that. Um, it's, it's a very niche uh, universal mechanic. Uh, some characters are going to benefit from it way more than, uh, for example, Kai. And now I'm going to ask you guys to bear with me, because I'm going to play with Axel, and I'm not an Axel player, and I'm, his, his execution for combos are pretty high. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, Axel Bomber loop from mid-screen, using the principles we've looked at from the momentum carryover from a fast room and cancel. Uh, the base idea here is to connect with a kick or a close slash, and then jump cancel into a Tiger Knee uh, Bomber. So you do something, there you go. I'm telling you, it's not... Okay, something like this here. So once you land that, you just want to Roman Red RC the um, the Bomber and then cancel it into a uh, Jump Kick. That way you're going to carry the momentum from the Bomber loop and you're going to land... Uh, you're going to be grounded before the opponent uh, touches the ground and you can convert that into a Corner Bomb loops. And I'm telling you, it's not, it's not easy. It's uh, something you need to practice. But it is something that actually can benefit from the uh, momentum carryover from a Fast Roman Cancel action. I'm just going to try it out. I'm telling you guys, I'm not an actual player, so don't expect uh, me to land this 100% uh, of the time. And there we go. So you can see the core idea here. I've carried Kai over to the corner, landed a standing kick, and if my execution was a bit better, if I had more practice with Axel, I could convert that into a uh, corner barbar loop. So I'm just going to try it out. So there you go. See, so that's the kind of 
uh, team characters can benefit from uh, momentum carryover. It's not as <coughs> practical as a blue artsy setup. It's on block, there's not really that many applications for it. Uh, it's not a great mix-up tool. It can be used in certain niche situation for a uh, for closing the distance against characters like Axel Testament. Um, and otherwise, it's mostly a combo tool. Um, I'm going to look at everyone's clips, and if I see anything that's uh, universal and can be broken up and shown, I'm going to try my best to explain it in uh, simple terms. Thanks, guys.